Hello ladies and gentlemen, Steve Green here and welcome to another episode of Injust to Mobile News. This is where we talk about the chances that are in the store, the arena seasons, the challenges. So if you want to stay updated on this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell button. And I'm opening in this window because, um, yeah, I didn't uh, really play my best teams on this count. I played on the other one, that's why it's only the 10th place, but I want to show you that I got all blades on this one. So yeah, a lot of you are like, oh, but you can't get all blades if you're top 10, you have to be top 5, literally the 10th player. If you, I was lower than this, I wouldn't get the chance to get any artifacts, and I got it. So there you go. But yeah, while being said, let's get into it. The arena season character is going to be Batman Ninja Lord Joker. So let's take a look at what he does. Passive is kind of useless, revives you if you're fighting against Batman. Two times, any teammate, including himself. And that might be might sound useful, but ask yourself, how often are you fighting Batmans? Not that often. First special is going to be Poison Gas. This will disable enemies' fast attacks. Not, not, not that great. Second special doesn't do anything, and this one will deal split damage towards tagged out opponents if they are also inflicted by the special one, which is one of the more impractical things to do. And even if you do that, it's only going to be effective in arena and champions arena, so not great. So so far, by looking at this, this character is absolute crap. But he has only four cast special tree. That makes him a and it's a very strong special tree, so keep that in mind. And he's a Batman Ninja character. He's actually the second best damage dealing Batman Ninja character. He's not the second best Batman Ninja character, but in terms of dealing damage, he does the damage only short of Catwoman. Like Catwoman does better than him, but he is close behind as a budget alternative. So let's say if you have Cat, if you have the Batman Ninja team but no gears for Catwoman, you can use him for a while as a substitute. The character that's mandatory in that team is Robin. Catwoman is only there to deal damage and she deals best, but you can live without her passives. But yeah, loving well, sets definitely do farm him. I wouldn't go gem refreshing for him because he's not a hard arena season and he comes out pretty often, but definitely far from him. And in my opinion, he's one of the most enjoyable to play characters in the game. But yeah, let's move on to the challenges. The challenge character is going to be Grid, so yeah, he does a few things. He's immune to power drain, so that makes him kind of a viable option as a tank in fights that have hazards on the ground, though there are better ways to do it and there's only a few people who build him that way. He's immune to stun from tech opponents, disable cyborgs passive at the start, uh, power generation and stuff, damage uh, to special one and stuff against tech opponents. He's pretty much a counter to cyborg, and he was released back in the day when the Just League team was the best team out there, and you really need help to beat them in the arena. It's not the case anymore, and he's not really that great. So yeah, if you want to farm his challenge, you can go ahead and do that. You don't have to. He's not a mandatory character by any means, and definitely do not gem refresh his challenge. He's not worth it. It just ain't. Now, getting into a store section. First of all, I made a separate video yesterday bitching about this chest. This chest has no reason to exist and you have no reason to buy it. If you want gears for Superman, you'll drop them from his challenge. If you want more shards for Superman, there are better ways to do it. And there's no reason to buy it for any of these over here. So this is a terrible chest. Please don't buy it. Now we got the Atlantean chest over here. It's going to be a little bit more expensive than your usual chest, like a similar chest to this are the shared reality chest, for example, or just League chest. This is 50 gems more expensive than it. And pretty much features increased chances, a very small chance to get them at 5 stars, and uh, a decent chance to get each of the League Store characters at 3 stars. And other than that, uh, pretty much the drops that are exactly uh, in the uh, Hero and Premium Hero chests. So you're playing. Uh, a little bit more for chances for good characters that are in the league store though. So if you're a new player in the first one or two weeks of playing the game then this is definitely a chest you can buy as an alternative to the premium chest. It's going to be a chest with good characters in it. But if you're past that point of two weeks of playing the game or if you are already in a stable position with your arena and you're not having any problems getting Elite 4, don't buy this. All the characters in here, like all the increased chances characters are going to be great characters. But all the increased chance characters are going to be in the league store, so we, with patience you'll get them from there. There's no reason to buy this to unlock them, but if you're a new player you might get some good stuff from here that will boost your progress. Boy oh boy, if you get the king from here you're going to have a good time. I have the Mortal Kombat chest, this has increased chances for Raiden and Sub-Zero. I mean you might like Raiden and Sub-Zero, but they have challenges, there's other ways to get them, and they're not such great characters to begin with. They're not that powerful characters so i actually suggest against buying this like if you 
just just go with this for the timing so that if you're a new player looking for characters and if you're not there's no reason to buy anything out of this at the moment and to a special offer so got the age of shits bundle it's going to give you one uh justly character so you get only two chances to have a good draw because cyborg and uh Superman are the only ones that are worth the money and instead of getting a gear set for the character that you get you're going to get one gear for each character why why just why who had this amazing idea it's it's garbage it doesn't matter if you buy it this or the other one it's absolute garbage don't buy it nightmare batman four star bundle he's an okay tank but you don't need tanks and there are better four star bundles again if you're ever looking for a four star bundle to boost your progress Arbrick Harley Quinn, EPI, Multiverse Armor, Supergirl. Other than that, none of it is worth it. Arguably less of Joker, but not really. You also don't need his gears. I think they're in the arena store. And even if they are not anymore in the arena store, you'll get them from the grades. And you're in no rush to fully gear him up. So we're here, Dark Side Lucky Bag. A tree, a whopping 3% chance to get Dark Side and some absolute garbage mixed in there. I mean, there's some League of Mark characters, don't get me wrong, but. Yeah, don't don't go for this. You'll not get dark side. Like, look, it it's not a huge amount of minus your money. If you got wanna gamble five bucks away, be my guess, but I wouldn't if I was you. Okay, we got the mega secrets of the lantern. This is for grids, so it's definitely not worth dropping any cash into. And yeah, well having said this was actually it for this one. I always forget to buy this because it's full of garbage and it's pretty much not worth the clicks and the loading time. Oh, we got 10 gems, guys. We got 10 gems. That's amazing. But yeah, well, having said, thanks so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video. Dislike the video. Dislike and maybe hit that bell button so you get notified for every single upload and you don't miss an episode like this. And well, having said, I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Bye.